So Mikey, Robert Easter has a four to five inch height advantage and an eight inch reach advantage. What's your plan to deal with his imposing size? Well, you know, um, we'll be ready to do whatever it takes to fight and win on July 28th. I know Robert is very tall and has long reach, so either I catch him reaching in or I may have to put pressure and stay low. I may have to work the body. You know, I'm prepared to do whatever it takes to win. I know we will uh, be ready and, and do everything on fight night. Whatever he has and whatever he's planning on doing, I'll have something to, to answer. Are there past fighters you face who presented similar challenges to Easter? Uh, one that comes to mind was uh, uh, Guzman. I fought, that was the last time actually I fought here in Staples Center against uh, Guzman. He was very tall. I can't remember exact you know, reach and height, but uh, he was taller than me. And I was still able, able to you know, find the right range and timing and, and that distance to, to land my punches. I stopped him in the fourth round. I landed a good right hand that put him down. Um, I'm not expecting the same thing, but uh, you know, like I said, I'll be ready to do whatever it takes. Whether I catch him coming in or maybe I put some pressure on on Robert and and work the body, you know, we'll be ready to do whatever I need to do to win. If you beat Easter, you've mentioned the possibility of moving up to fight Errol Spence. Would you rather move up or unify the lightweight belts against Ray Beltran or Lomachenko? Well, those are two great opportunities and, and, and possibilities for me. If I can unify all the titles against Lomachenko, that'd be great and terrific. But realistically, I think that takes a little more time because of promotional uh, issues. I think Lomachenko and his team have their agenda pretty you know, set up already. I hear Errol Spence is willing to accept the challenge. I'm willing to move up and wait. If everything goes well against Robert Easter, then I would definitely pursue a fight with Errol Spence more. Um, like I said, the Lomachenko is exciting fight. I would love that, but it's, it's probably not as likely to get done this year. Uh, I think the Errol Spence is, is more of a, a higher possibility to get done. Do you expect a decision, or will you seek a knockout like you had with Zlatkinen and Rojas? Well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm never looking for the knockout, but if the opportunity presents itself, I'm definitely going to take it. I think this fight could definitely go the distance because he's a tough fighter. Uh, Robert Easter is a tough fighter who, who's there to win. He's shown diversity already in some of his fights. He's overcome some of these other challenges and makes it through the fight and goes the distance. He also has power, so i got to respect that. But if the opportunity is there and I hurt my opponent, then I'm definitely going to go after him. And if I can drop him, I'm going to be out there. Pues, mira, yo nunca voy a seguir una pelea, nunca voy a buscar el, el knockout en una pelea. Pienso que puede irse a la distancia y yo estoy listo para irme a la distancia, a los 12 asaltos. Pero si se presenta una oportunidad donde lo lastimo un poco y veo la oportunidad de, de, de vencerlo y noquearlo, lo voy a hacer. No le voy a dar más momento de, de, de sobrevivir. Si lo lastimo lo suficiente, yo voy a, a tratar de, de pararlo. You haven't fought in L.A. since 2011. Are you excited to fight again close to home? Yes, very excited. Uh, it's been seven years since the last fight here, and that was even before I was champion. So now that I come back, it's very nice to be here, have the local support. It, you know, it's very special, and, and it's a unification. So I, I have the opportunity to win another title in the same division and, and come home with another title here for, for my fans. It's, it's very special.